this morning we have uh, some couple of Corellas and over there's a Galah and another Galah and another Corella over there on that feeder. A little bit shy these these parrots so I won't get too close they'll fly away. So that's who we've got for breakfast this morning. <laughs> rained heaps overnight, had a big storm, lots of thunder, lots of lightning, so all the birds are wet, the ground soaked, big branches down, so a bit of a clean up to do today. Down there in the background is a lorikeet and there's a, a crested pigeon, that's Zari in the background, the sun conya making that racket. So there we go. Everyone's a bit quiet this morning after the big storm, but they'll pick up. They're just sitting there. All right, back to pouring. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm playing with my split cup again today. Look at this, it's two cups joined so I'm going to lay a colors in there colors in there and pull them out one stream comes out here one stream comes out there and they kind of sort of meld into each other and give this gorgeous 3d ribbon effect uh, this is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvas which is a 12 by 24 inch I just First of all, I was going to make a bigger canvas because I had one that I'd scraped and it was sitting there looking at me and I thought, I'll use that. And so I made up all this paint and then I thought, well, I can only fit about 800 grams in this. It holds 750 mils, which is going to be about 800 grams. So I thought, well, there's no point doing the big one because I'd have to use two of these and that's just too hard. So I've got more paint than what I need. So what I did was I've got seven colours. These are rainbow colours. You know the song? <laughs> red and orange yellow green uh, blue indigo and violet so seven colors so what I've done was I've just divided my little cup here I've given each one roughly two centimeters so two times seven is 14 it's about 15 centimeters so I've just gone over two centimeters on there and I did it the same on the other one as well it was just my little marker. I just put a little dot there just to give me a rough idea of how much paint to put in. Um, it is smaller at the bottom. So, but anyway, it, it, as I said, it's a rough guide. It should work. Cross fingers, it works. Pouring medium, 60% glue, 40% water, and I've mixed that 50-50 to paint. So, because I thought I was doing a big one, I did 80 grams of pouring medium and 80 grams of paint. Um, with these, some of the thicker ones, the orange and the yellow were really thick, I had to add water. Righto, let's get going. I'm going to put the same, I'm going to show you the consistency. Better do that, hadn't I? I think you guys like to see that. I'll show you on the yellow. The lighter colours seem to be easier to see. There's my mound. Mound on a mound. You guys are all used to that now, aren't you? Same as I do for my flip cups. Maybe a touch thicker. Is it probably a touch thicker? Alrighty, let's go. Now, where's my little dots? So I'm going to put the same in each. Red first. See, that's all I need. Half, which means I can do two pours. Woohoo! This is not going to be as easy. Oh, how am I going to do this? Because I need to tip it down the side. So I don't really know how much I've got in there until I bring it back. This one's got way too much orange. I've gone over the line. I'm nearly at the second, the next pot, next one's line. Oops. Okay. 
Oh well. <laughs> As I said, it's a guide. Just a blob. Just pour a blob in. I'm about to. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Gone over. As long as I've got enough room in there for all the colours, it will be fine. I had to look up the difference between indigo and violet because Google wasn't that clear on it. This is the indigo. It's a really dark purpley blue inky colour. And then the violet, when I looked that up, this one, I guess interpretation, you know, you can interpret it any way you like. It's, it's a lighter purple, which is good because the indigo is so dark. Look at that. We just fit. Woohoo! Better put that on the middle bar there, hey. Actually, I better not. I'll probably, probably fall over. Let me just move all these paints out of the way. I'll tell you about my colours. I'm using the same matte here that I used for that colourful ring pour in the last video. Hey, stop growling you lot. Okay, this is one I've used for the violet. It's it's just a lilac I've made. It's purple and white. Dioxazine purple I've gone for the indigo because it's a really dark inky colour. Uh, just a mid blue. Green light. Cool yellow. Orange and cool red so those are my colors now this is going to be the fun part so i'm going to start up here i'm going to do a traveling ring pour ring pause plural um, and when i tip this out instead of getting a circle there and a circle next to it i'm going to see if i can get both circles to sort of come around like that on top of each other and work my way down that's the plan mm, so i get that ribbon effect and then i've got some leftover paint that i can still pop on my corners if i need to so let's go hopefully it won't be too muddy make sure i get down the canvas enough that i don't run out of paint before I get down there. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeousness? I haven't got much left. Okay, that'll do. Almost got there. That's pretty good. <gasps> Look at those colours. So, leftover paint. Obviously, up here I've got the purple. So, I'll put some purple there. And then I'll put some sort of red there. And go from there. But I am going to make it a little bit thinner. So, bear with me while I add some water. You know I always like to have my... Um, corners that are my flow enhancers to be a little bit thinner and then if I don't get to cover all the corners then that's okay I'll have a little bit of paint on here so just bear with me or fast forward I don't mind while I just cover my sides Hope you guys are all having a good Mother's Day today with your family, if you've got family around. Or maybe you're a, a mother to a fur baby like I am. Happy birthday to the fur baby mothers too. Did I say happy birthday? Did I? can't remember. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers with fur babies. I can't remember what I said now. Concentrating on my purple. <laughs> okay, so that's my purple for those corners. 
and then I think I'll use this gorgeous red down here at the other end. Drop some water in that one. Certainly starting to cool down here in Queensland. I had to put my my slippers on this morning. It's my cloth. It's getting chilly. It's autumn coming into coming into winter soon enough, I guess. Nuts are starting to get a little bit cooler. I'll have to put a bit more red on here because I haven't got as much paint down this end as I have at the other end. That's got the big blob of purple there. And I knew that was going to happen because the, the colour that you pour out or pour into your cup last is always the one that sort of starts there the most. So you get a lot of that colour. And I don't mind tipping some of it off. Oh goodness, I've got a lot of red here. I got carried away with the red. Need to spread that out. Look at it all. My goodness. That's all right. I'll put it here. What was I thinking? I'll spread it out. And then when you see how I've got red on the edge there, if you wanted to, you could put orange here because that's where the orange starts if you wanted to. I'm just going to pop some red there on my sides. Way, way too much paint here on for my red. I'll get to the tilting part in a minute, you guys. Bear with me. Can't see what I'm doing over here. That's all right. I'll leave that. I can fix it later on. As long as I've got enough coverage, that I've got enough paint, that will do. Right, ho, let's get to the fun bit. Now, I'm going to tilt. I should torch first. Get my bubbles out away. I'm going to torch to that corner first. And then come back and go to this corner get some of this purple off and then I can go to that corner and that corner so I don't really want to go too much to the, um, the the sides I want to make sure I can get to these long sides oh it looks like I cut myself just can't keep myself clean can I red paint everywhere Okay, let's go off to, see what I mean, I don't want to take the paint too much that way. I will a little bit because I can maybe take up to about there because I don't want all of that purple. But let's take it off to the, the corner. Let it drip off that way just a touch. Might as well cover that side. Did I cover that side? Hope so. Ooh, it's looking pretty. Lots of people like rainbow paws, don't they? So it's certainly looking pretty. Now I'll go off to that corner. So I'm tilting up and forward at the same time just to get the paint up to that corner a little bit that's enough because I want to keep some of the purple there and I'll come back to the middle again so when the paint's back in the middle then I can take it that way a little bit because I need to Obviously, bring some of this down because I had a lot of purple at the top there. And I'm going to turn it around that way I can tilt down that way. Right, so I'm going to go off to this corner next. And as I said, if I don't have enough paint, I will just leave some red in that bottom corner. 
It's a stroke down at the moment. Got both feet here on the pedal pad, and then when I'm almost to the to the bottom, then I start tilting the other way. And I'm going to leave that corner just for now. While I make sure that I've got enough paint to come over here. Keep my hands around the side so I don't drip. Big blocks of orange. I don't know if I like it as much, but what do you do, hey? It's there. Right, now the weight of the paint is still down here above the red. So I can just head for that bottom corner. Don't want this to go over just yet. And depending on how much paint I've got, I may actually bring it right back to here. We'll see how much that's lost. If, if a lot of that goes over, I'm going to end up with a lot of orange on that side. So I'll have to see what that looks like. Because I don't want to have just orange on that side. See that blue and yellow is going to go over in a minute. But my red hasn't got to the corner yet. There it goes. All that is going now. Which means... I'm going to have to do as I said and take off some of that orange like so. Yep, now I'll come back to the middle and just kind of try and straighten up those lines just a bit. That's the line that I'm looking at there because it's pretty much right in the middle so I'm just trying to straighten it up. How's that looking? How is it looking? Is it good? Do we like it? Woohoo! <laughs> oh. I've got a lot of purple up here still. I wonder if I can get rid of some of it. No, I can't, you guys, because you know what's going to happen? It's all going to go curved. Well, I didn't get, I guess I didn't get my 3D look as much because now I've tilted half off. I've just got stripy, but hey, it's still pretty. Um, does it give you the rainbow effect? How you're starting with the red, going into the yellow and the orange and then the green and the purple, and then going into the light purple. It still gives you that effect, doesn't it? So I'm gonna see if I can get some of that purple off. It's just bugging me having so much of it there. It's going, look, woohoo. Just take a little bit more of that pale purple off. I don't want that dark one to go over. Stop just there. Yep, that's better. Better. -er. And I'll take a little bit more. No. Indecisive. So I'm gonna bring the weight of the paint back to the middle. And I will leave it right there. What do you guys think? Love it. I had in my mind that it was going to be all these circles. I guess it's got a little bit of it here. But, um, yeah, not quite as I had expected. But it's a pretty, it's pretty, isn't it? Look at that pretty cup. Righto, let me take you down for a close-up. Probably didn't need to put all that extra paint on the corners, did I? Because my corners are well covered. What's that? There's something in there. A little blob of something. Sides are really pretty as well. I'll show you the sides in a minute. That needs a bit of red just there. Where's my red? I just missed that one little corner there. And there, I'll we'll probably put my finger in it maybe, no. So that is my interpretation of a rainbow pool. Hope you guys like it. Okay, 
right now. I'll take you down for a close up. Paintings under there drying from a workshop yesterday. Okay. Here we go from this end. It's funny how you get, um, even though I've poured the oranges and yellows and reds down this end, they've still got some blue in them. So beautiful, beautiful shadings of colours. It's nice and bright. Look at that green against the yellow and the blue. And then we come up a bit higher and we start getting into the purples. Really, really pretty. Have a look at the sides where the, the paints float over the edges. It's continued those gorgeous straps over the edges. Couldn't do it again if I tried, could I? Really pretty. Happy with that. Oops, I've got to zoom out to get it all into frame. Alrighty, have a go at these split cups. I think I've posted out the pe poor people at the post office. They were really shocked when I came in with this huge, huge bag full of envelopes carrying my split cups that I posted off all around Australia last week. So hopefully you guys have got them in the mail and have a go at them. Show me what you're doing with them. Pop the photos up on the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. I'd love to see them. Just remember to have your paints relatively thick, nice and thick, mound on a mound. All right, I'll see you for the next pour. I have a um, another spring blossom idea that I'm going to do after this one. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now.